they go. Go. Say go. 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 Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are kind of doing some like odd things around the house and backyard. And I am getting very intimate with one of my chickens and you guys will catch that in a bit. But we are going to start off this video by washing some of our eggs. To do this, we soak our fresh eggs in warm water. And after about five to 10 minutes, we're going to just rinse them off in like running warm water. I'm going to be using a pitcher that I like microwave because it takes too long for my faucet to actually get warm water and I don't want to waste. So that is why I'm using a little pitcher. And then once they are all washed and dried, we're gonna store them in our fridge. What I'm doing here is mainly just kind of like washing off any little particles that might be on the egg. And you want the water to be warm because apparently if the water is cold, the pores of the egg will open up, allowing bacteria possibly to get inside the egg. So we want a temperature of water that is warmer than the inside of the egg. And that is why based on you know my research online why we do it that way so typically i like to do my egg washing once i collect about a dozen eggs from my hens on my counter but if i have eggs still in my fridge i might wait a little bit longer and just kind of wash them once i actually need some eggs and if i need eggs and i have none left in my fridge i will go ahead and wash whichever ones i have out on my counter but this process essentially, you know, in, in addition to getting rid of any particles or whatever on the egg surface, it also rinses off the bloom, which is the invisible coating on the egg, which protects the egg from, you know, outside, you know, interference. And so since we are washing that away, we're going to put these in the fridge so that they stay nice and, you know, good for consumption later on. Moving on, we are going to kind of clear up my little calendar and fill in the very few events that are going to be happening this April. I am hosting a garden nerf party. It's a combined party celebrating three of my family members and you know, I'm just trying to make it work. So we're throwing a garden themed, nerf themed birthday party and uh, that's coming up and I will be doing a little party prep video. So stay tuned for that. And Easter is just around the corner, so I hope you guys have a really wonderful Easter as well. Okay, so next up, we are moving outside and I one of my chickens has like a really dirty behind. I noticed that her feathers, like they just had a lot of poop sticking to them. It was really disgusting. And I noticed she was kind of like acting different from the other chickens. And I don't know if that's just her personality or if she's sick. And I did look up like, you know, why would she have kind of like a pasty looking butt and it could be you know as a result of like an illness so one thing that was suggested was to give her a like warm bath so that is what i'm doing here i'm you know holding this is caramel um one of our hens and i'm you know just kind of holding her in this warm water using my hand to like try to brush her butt and get all the poop off. I gotta say, this is like, I've never thought that I would have to do this in my life, but here we are. Anyways, I'm like washing off her butt and trying to get, like I'm trying to feel if there's like any like major poop particles still stuck to any of her feathers. And then I will be blow drying her feathers because it isn't the warmest day out and I don't believe, you know, these birds are supposed to be like soaking wet. So 
or blow drying her to just kind of help the process go a little bit quicker. And you guys will see my mama side comes out and I like I'm like rocking her back and forth, back and forth, like I would do if I was like holding a baby. I think it's just like instinct now. But after I turned her over, I kind of noticed that there were still like a lot of feathers on her like underside that were still wet. So I had to kind of like hold her as almost as if I was nursing her really and blow dry like her belly. And once I felt like it was somewhat complete, uh, you know, I set her down, gave the birds some snacks. We can see Vanilla wanted to, you know, get some attention, so she stuck her face in front of the camera. But then I noticed that Carmel was still a little wet, so I tried to blow dry her a little bit more. And then I decided to take the advice of another YouTuber and trim off some of the feathers because some of them were still kind of looking like they had gunk on them. And I figured it would just be better to, you know, cut that off. And um, overall, I really think this little makeover worked really nicely for Carmel. She looks a lot healthier now, and she kind of still acts somewhat the same, uh, you know, just kind of distancing herself from some of the other chickens, but uh, she does look healthier. So I'm glad that I went through this process. It definitely wasn't as overwhelming as I thought it was going to be, so I'm really grateful for that because I was nervous that you know, even just giving her a bath was going to be some ca catastrophic event. So anyways, it worked out well. She looks better. You know, we're good. And if I ever need to do this again, I feel more prepared. But needless to say, after doing all of that, um, I needed a shower. I was disgusting. My, my hair, you know, I definitely needed to wash my hair. And uh, then after dealing with that bird, I, I felt like I needed to wash everything like five times. But we are clean and we're going to move on to the next thing. Aubrey's little school cart had kind of gotten out of hand. We just kind of threw things back in. It wasn't super organized. So I went through and kind of just reorganized her crayons, her markers, her scissors. In the cart, I decided to put like activities in the bottom two levels. The middle level is kind of more like dry erase activities. And the bottom level is kind of more like stickers and coloring books. And then up top, we have her school books and then any kind of supplies we would use while working with the school books. But now that that is done, Jack is awake, and so I figured we'd go outside. We typically go outside like in the morning and in the afternoon and just walk laps around our backyard. We enjoy watching the chickens free range, and it just kind of, it contains Jack so that I don't have to like stop him from walking on our soon-to-be lawn. Uh, the grass is very slowly growing in, but we can't step on it yet, so... Instead of having anxiety walking around with Jack outside, I just enjoy pushing him either in the stroller or in our little pink cars. But it was like a beautiful cloudy day near us, but in the distance we could see tons of rain clouds. So I made sure to film some time-lapse videos. It was amazing, like just the difference of like where we were versus the clouds, but they eventually caught up to us and it started raining near us as well.
but to wrap up the evening since it was you know starting to rain outside we moved inside and just had fun as a little family while we were waiting still for Juan to get home and I'll just let you guys enjoy this last little clip and while you are enjoying this clip I hope that you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you are new I would love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one <laughs> already every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel and since us moms have to do it all that may mean yummy recipes easy DIYs mom hacks cleaning and organization or just a combo of everything please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one